Yeah, uh, especially for gastric cancer, there is a revolution ongoing. So we, are, we have several new agents uh, under clinical development. So it's really an exciting field. Uh, first, we had immunotherapy with uh, excellent results and uh, prolongation of the overall survival of our patients, especially in those uh, with the molecular selection based on uh, not uh, just MSI, but also PDL1 expression uh, uh, by CPS. Um, however, there are several uh, emerging targets. Uh, one of them is already validated, so Claudine 18.2 expression uh, for the treatment with uh, a specific monoclonal antibody, which is Bemartuzo, uh, uh, sorry, which is uh, uh, Zolbetoximab, based on three phase three trials, uh, Spotlight uh, and Glow. And uh, we have uh, also other trials ongoing uh, with uh, uh, Bemartuzumab, which is an anti-FGFR. Uh, to be monoclonal antibodies. Uh, we had the phase two randomized data showing promising results uh, with the addition of this agent to standard chemotherapy in the first line setting in patients selected for the high expression of the target, so FGFR to be. Uh, based on this data, there are uh, three uh, two phase three uh, randomized clinical trials ongoing, uh, one with the addition of bemarituzumab to chemotherapy and one uh, with the addition of uh, the same agent to chemotherapy and immunotherapy. So probably there we will have synergy by combining different agents uh, to chemotherapy. So the future I think is bright because uh, for several years, we we just had uh, chemotherapy and a uh, limited uh, uh, amount of options for our patients, uh, and hopefully we we will have to choose uh, between different options. Uh, and having uh, different agents for these patients is great because we will have the opportunity to extend their survival and quality of life. Uh, so, in my opinion, the future is absolutely bright.